So today's lecture is about how to interact with the outside world. How does a Haskell program talk to the rest of the world? I want you to think about something for a minute, and that is whether A plus B is equal to B plus A. Let's suppose we're talking about numbers here, some, some reasonable kind of numbers. It's a property, a mathematical property, that we expect to be true. Now, programs that you write also contain plus operations. And admittedly, in many languages, these are overloaded. But ignore the overloading issue for the moment. Just think about adding various kinds of numbers together. And ask yourself the question whether A plus B is equal to B plus A in your favorite programming language. Well, what does that mean exactly? Well, can you take a program that you've written, which contains A plus B, and replace it with B plus A, where A and B are some arbitrary bits of program? And the answer is almost certainly no. For example, if I wanted to add f of a function called f and a function called g in your favorite language, then we, know, we may know that f and g return, let's say, integer values, and we can add those integers together. But what we don't know, on the face of it, is whether those functions return those values by interacting with the outside world, for example, getting a value from the user, or randomly generating a value. And so what that means is we can't be sure that the, the behavior of f plus g will be the same as g plus f. Maybe that's not so surprising. Is that a bad thing? Well, it could be a bad thing if, for example, we would like, when we see this, to think, ah, we can maybe evaluate this on one core and evaluate this on another in parallel and add the results together. We can't necessarily do that just by looking at the functions, or at least looking at their types. We'd have to know about what side effects they might or might not have. Haskell expressions, Haskell programs, are in a certain sense free of side effects. There are no side effects. Now that may seem strange, but in Haskell, functions, when we say we're defining a function or a value, think of a value as a function with no arguments, these are real functions in the sense that whenever you apply the same, argu the same argument to a given function, it will always give you the same result. That's the definition of a function. It has a single value result. Okay? So they're functions in the mathematical sense. That's not true of functions which are defined in most other programming languages. Because there is a hidden state, the state of the world, which affects the result that a function call might give you. A simple example might be, you could type something like this in Python. Uh, this is not equivalent to two times input. right? And why is that? Well, because each call of input produces a different value, potentially. And why is that? Well, because it obtains a value by interacting with the outside world. So then the question is, if, I, if I I've told you now that Haskell functions are pure, they're real functions, then how can Haskell programs interact with the outside world? That's what we're going to learn about in today's lecture. How do we keep pure and still have the opportunity to interact 